Hey everyone, today we're going to look at auto layout and auto layout allows us to design our screens so that they look the same on every type of iOS device and we're just going to run through the basics we're going to cover how to center views in their parent how to space views from edges and from other views how to space a view a certain percentage from the top or bottom of another view so if you wanted it a third from the top for example we'll look at that and also we're going to look at stack views which were introduced in iOS 9 and how we can use these and how they make uh, auto layout more efficient so let's get started um, so come to come to your storyboard and add a label and um, you can see here that the label looks like it's in the center we have no constraints on this label and constraints are the things that tell the label where it needs to be placed within its view um, so I mean at the moment it looks like yeah that's perfect in the center so this screen is for iPhone 7 but if we come up to the iPhone 7 Plus you can see that label slightly off center here and if we come up to the iPad Pro you can actually see that it's not in the center at all so this is something that auto layout is going to solve and we need to add our constraints to this label so that it always appears in the center so highlight your label and there's a group of buttons on the bottom right here now you need to come down and uh, select this one called align and you'll get this pop-up and out of this pop-up we need to select horizontally in container and vertically in container and these two constraints which we will add um, will center our label so you can actually highlight the constraints here and now if we come to our iPad you can see that the label is no longer off in the top left it's actually centered because the constraints have told this label where it needs to be placed regardless of the screen let's come back to our 7 so that's how to center something but what if we wanted it in the top left here how would we do that well first off we need to remove the constraint we've just added so you can highlight them both and you can just simply press backspace and now they're gone so I'll, I'll show you two ways of how we can get this in the top left and the first one is by holding down control on your keyboard and dragging it up now we're going to let go here and we get this menu now you want to select vertical spacing to the top layout guide and you can highlight the constraints again and come up to the, the right top here where it says vertical space constraint and you can see at the moment that the, const the constant here is defined as the one we just uh, put in place but we can actually change this so if we type in something like 10 here it's going to appear 10 points from the top layout guide here now if we want to do the same um, so that it appears in the top left we can actually drag it to the left here and release and we get a similar menu here but the the options have changed in that we can now add a leading space to the container so let's do that and again let's say we want that 10 from here and now if we look at our iPad you can see it's in the top left so actually let's run that and um, see what it looks like on our device and you can see way up here in the top left we have our label um, what well, I'm just going to show you another way to do it so let's remove these constraints again as before and you select the label and you come back down here to the menu and this time you want to select the add new constraints button and up pops another menu and what we want to do is highlight two of these um, lines here this top one and the one on the left and this basically means whatever this view 
um, is near, like whichever is closest to this view at the top, we want to space it 10 away from it. And we also want to space it 10 away from whichever um, view is on its left. So in this respect, it's going to be 10 from the edge of our parent view and 10 from the top of the parent view and we're not going to constrain it to margins. Now the other thing to note is um, in our last example we pinned it to our layout guide but you can actually pin it to the, the view itself and you do that by, by coming on this um, uh, drop down and selecting view here and we'll change that back to 10 so, and then press enter and you can see that the label is now exactly 10 points from the top of our parent view here and 10 points from the left and if we ran it again we'd see a similar result and there you go now because we pinned it right to the top of our view you can see that it's actually slightly higher up because the top layout guide was lower which is something to bear in mind now we're going to add another label and let's say we want to space this 40 points from this first label so we can do the same as before we can come down here and tap on add new constraints select the top one type in 10 or rather 40 and we can add that and you can see that that has been added but we still have um, a discrepancy between how far this should be spaced from the left and we can actually do this in, in several ways the same as we did for this one or what we can say is we can um, control drag to the label above it and we can actually say leading here and this basically means we're going to align our leading edges and there you go now if you get um, this this yellow dotted line it means that your current view or your label in this case is not aligned to the constraints that you've set and you can update that in two ways. You can come down here and you can click on update frames or you can use a keyboard shortcut command option equals and it will move it for you. So that's how you would space it from another view and how you would space it from the edges. So let's look at what's next. So let's add again another label and this time we want to space this label 30% or about a third from the top of our parent view here. So how would we do that? Hold down control and drag to the bottom here. You can see this vertical spacing to bottom layout guide. Select that. Come here and where it says constant, we don't want a constant because we're going to use this multiplier. And what we need to type here is colon one, sorry, colon three. And you can see that it's added this constraint. And what we need to do here is reverse first and second item and change this back and there you go it is now positioned a third from the top of our view we're also going to center this so it knows where to position itself so horizontally and now if we run this you can see that the third label is a third from the top of our parent view.
And the final thing we're going to do is add a stack view to show you how to evenly space views across our parent view. So let's add three different views here. One, two, three. Let's make these a different color. And what we want to do is make sure that no matter the size of the screen, these are always going to be evenly spaced. So highlight your views and come up to the editor here and select embed in and we want to say embed in stack view. So now we have our three views in the stack view. Let's add our, our constraints. So we want our stack view to be about 20 points from our label here and we want it to be zero from either side of our parent view. So come down to add new constraints, select our left and right here and add zero for both of them. Add those two. And then we're going to add uh, a height constraint to our stack view. So come down here, select height and let's make this 150 points. And the final thing we want to do is define what spacing we want between our elements or rather our views here. And let's just make that 10 for now. And you can see that for some reason one of the views is bigger than the other two. So we can fix that and we can say we want to um, fill equally. So the, the property is distribution and we want to fill equally so select that one. And there you go, you have three views which are distributed across our parent view evenly. So let's run this. And there's our stack view, nicely laid out.